All right, welcome back. I think tonight we're probably gonna flip the Bronco around and look at the other side and maybe do a little bit of grinding on the outer rocker, finding the spot welds and just seeing what else we can fill around with. I think this might be a kind of short video, but we'll see how far it goes. This is the side we'll be working on for a while until uh, I get that piece there, this intersection. But we still need to take this outer rocker off, take those clips off, weld those up, take the fender flare off, remove the lights, and Probably to be similar to the other door pillar. Need another one for this side and you know cut it and sand this back down. Get whatever that is. Kind of body putty that dripped, I guess. Anyways, do the same thing. Clean this off. Clean this off. Might try to hammer that back down. And take the door strap off anyways that that new piece would come over here you know cover that up which I think I might yeah I had to get this piece for this side too well, that's where I was telling you that the brace underneath it was bending it I don't know how or why, but I can feel a hump right there. Anyways, I think I'm going to work on this tonight. Like we did the other side, try to get this uh, outer rocker off. Didn't know it's that. I guess I had... I broke the bolts off in there. This might be a little bit more of a challenge because I'm not sure what I need to do about that. But we'll cross that bridge when it gets here. But I also need to get the wiring harness out. Radio, knobs. So there's a lot left to do in here. Of course, we're going to sand this down too. Anyways, let's get to uh, grinding on that a little bit. I forgot that I didn't have to do the top part, but just the side part here. So you can see it still has the plastic clips in it for, I guess, the weather stripping or maybe some kind of trim. 
but it looks pretty similar to the other side. I'm sure there's gonna be spot welds here. And there's some spot welds here, but we'll grind this down a little bit and see what they look like. On this one, there's some rusting right there, but not as bad as that other side. So it may not be too extremely terrible to deal with. I'm just kind of worried about that. And all up through here is kind of nasty, but anyways, we're going to continue on grinding around here on each side and seeing how far we get. Alrighty, on this side, seems like I kind of did what they did on the other side with the, just like tack welding it here and here. But there's three spot welds here. But on this side, there's no tack welds. It's just three spot welds. So I'm wondering if those tack welds on the other side were done after the fact or they just missed doing it to this side, but it doesn't really matter to me because I plan on doing spot welds like they did here. I don't really see the need to tack weld it unless somebody else might know why. Please let me know in the comments. But I think starting tomorrow we'll probably start drilling these out. It'll take, take a little bit of time, but we'll drill those out <clears throat> and then we'll look underneath and right now I don't feel anything attaching it to the, to the inner. So I may just drill those out and this whole thing will fall off. That's probably what will happen. But uh, we plan on, plan on doing that tomorrow, getting this off this week and taking the uh, hopefully thinner filler off this week and taking all the clips out this week too. That'll be my goal and then uh, then we'll sand it down like we did the other side, weld up the holes and put some paint on this side. Hopefully it's not as bad as the other side with the rust being down in here but I already see holes so didn't get lucky there but we'll get this other side looking like the other side and after that we'll hopefully the new floor will be in and we can go through that that putting that in together 
once that gets in, they'll be looking pretty nice, I think. But we do need to tackle this bed and the rear tubs, kind of get them cleaned up and make sure there's no holes in this bed. I think I see one way back over there. But we may do that too this week, start cleaning this up. And my goal this month is to get rid of all this so I can have my bench back and my blasting cabinet. And I plan on building something to put that on so I can roll it around closer to the air compressor where I want to or put it where I want it. It's kind of too high and there's no uh, nothing underneath it to release the sand to change it out. So I might build me something. But yeah, I want to get that thing uncovered so I can use it on the few parts we have that need to be blasted. And I'm sure there's other stuff that needs to be blasted on the Bronco too. But uh, that's another one of my goals for month of May. Anyways, I think that'll do it for me tonight. It's getting close to 1.30. And I gotta go to work in the morning. But uh, sorry about the lack of content tonight. It's kind of a just a kind of tired evening. Worked all day out in the yard. So, anyways, uh, yeah, sorry about just cleaning off spot welds and moving the rocker around, but this week we'll hook up and uh, get the outer rocker off and start doing other stuff that we did on the other side of the Bronco, too. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you to my new subscribers. Keeps me motivated knowing that people kind of want to see what I'm doing. So thanks again, and uh, I'll see you on the next.